Hi, my name is Rich Gilman. I live in Central California. I made this video to educate people about barn owl nest boxes. When I post owl videos, it can be a little bit noisy. Let's turn that down. Okay, now, when I post owl videos, I receive questions. Hopefully this video will answer those questions. There's a list of barn owl educational resources at the end of the video and on the YouTube website. I encourage you to learn more about these amazing creatures. In this video, we will cover the benefits of an owl nesting box, barn owl nest box parts, locations for nest boxes, mounting the nest box, cleaning the nest box. Steve Simmons, who was a nest box luminary and started me on my barn owl journey. And a little section at the end, don't mess with the mama. And that's some videos from our uh, nest boxes. Before we had barn owl nest boxes, our backyard citrus fruit was destroyed. Every orange and tangerine on our four trees. That's a lot of citrus and rats. In our attic traps, we were catching five rats a week. Since we installed the barn owl nest boxes, no citrus has been destroyed and no rats have been caught in our attic traps. We thought the big rats were too large for barn owls, but when we dissected their pellets, the big rat skulls were commonly found. A big benefit for us is being able to watch these beautiful creatures and knowing we support them as a safe place to raise their young. This is our nest box. We've made modifications over the years based on our observations. The box is larger than other boxes to accommodate four babies and adults. The box measures 24 inches wide, 16 inches deep, 15 inches tall at the front, sloping one inch to the back for 14 inches. The entry opening is built so a barn owl adult just barely fits. This ensures nothing bigger than a barn owl can enter, like great horn owls, ravens, and raccoons who kill barn owls. The entrance is designed to leave a bit of extra space on the sides for the wings, but just barely. This divider is positioned to keep predators from reaching in and grabbing a baby. We had our nest boxes up for three years without occupants. Since we put in the dividers, the nest boxes were occupied the next breeding season and every year since. We think the dividers make barn owls feel safer. The inside is painted black, which we think makes the owl feel safer, sequestered in a dark area. The top is painted white with embedded glass beads for sun reflection, helping to mitigate noonday heat. Here's the mounting bracket which is bolted to the box base and then to the 4x4 supporting pole. The box is painted this neutral color to help it blend in with foliage. Many nest boxes are painted white which helps mitigate the sun's heat. With the vandalism we have encountered, a color that blends in like a muted gray-green seems safer. To mitigate heat in the central San Joaquin Valley, we install a facade for the south and west facing sides. The grooves below the entry allow the barn owl to grip with talons before entering. After watching squirrels trying to enter our nest box, we only make four grooves up and away from the bottom. Some designs have perches or platforms below the entrance, but this addition is frowned upon. This verbiage is from Cornell's website describing Steve Simmons' plans. The design emits perches or platforms in front of the entrance hole, which would enable predators to perch during their attempt to snatch the box's occupants. Outlets, likewise, cannot perch outside the box and thus be exposed to predation. Barn owls are secretive. So if you can, locate the nest boxes somewhere around cover. Our nest boxes are next to tree foliage, which helps conceal and provides afternoon shade. Barn owls are noisy during territory establishment. 
When the babies are fledging, they are a bit noisy, calling to their parents, hoping for a nice juicy rodent. Fledging is a verb meaning leaving the nest. We like barn owl noise because we know these young owls will rid our yard of any electrical wire chewing, citrus eating rats. We suggest you face the opening towards the vantage point so you can watch the activities from your home. When no cover is available, the nesting boxes do fine out in the open. This nesting box is at the Martin House, located on the Sierra Foothill Conservancy Preserve. The box was quickly occupied as it is surrounded by target-rich meadows. Twelve feet is a conventional height for barn owl nesting boxes. We mount ours from underneath, which makes it harder for predators to climb into the box. For mounting, we use one 10-foot 4x6 treated with rot preventative and one 10-foot 4x4, which does not need to be treated. The 4x6 is buried in a 2.5 foot deep hole and packed with tamped earth. If the soil is loose and can't be packed, we add one bag of concrete. The 4x4 is bolted to the 4x6 with two bolts. To get the box down, the top bolt is removed and the box and 4x4 are lowered. A stick is used to support the box while cleaning. Steve Simmons' design has a small flap that opens for cleaning. We have found that debris in the nest box is hard packed, which doesn't allow for debris removal through a flap. We deleted the flap in our design and instead designed the nest box foundation so the nest box pivots down. Cleaning needs to be done after the barn owl babies have fledged, which is usually mid to late May. June through September is normally a safe time for cleaning. During wet years, which produce more rodents, barn owls can have two litters, so beware of your timing. Adults use our nesting boxes year-round and will have one or two adults fly out when lowering the box for cleaning. No worries, they always come back. Our nest box has its origin in Steve Simmons' nest box design, although we have added additional features. Steve Simmons was a shop teacher and a well-known nest box builder. At one time, he monitored 650 nest boxes in four counties from Merced down to Tulare. He was also a master bander who banded 10,000 barn owls. His plans for a barn owl nest box were designed for his shop class. The plans focused on building a nest box out of one sheet of plywood, teaching students a business plan for selling these cost-efficient nesting boxes. If you are interested in nest boxes and barn owl information, watch this amazing video. It's on YouTube, and it shows some of what Steve has accomplished. During nesting season, adult barn owls are quite protective. Here is our resident possum getting too close to the nesting box and got strafed by an adult barn owl. Here one of our resident foxes is harassed by an adult. After the obligatory harassment, the adult can be seen flying back to the nest. And here is one of the feral cats that roam our neighborhood. He turns around when the adult barn owl screeches. I think he's had previous encounters with protective adults.